This is Emily Yang exploring the Rocky Mountains. Hi, I'm here in Alberta with Larry, and today we're going to explore the Rockies. Hi, Larry. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. This is Emily Young. She'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling, we'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. Are those big mountains the Rockies? Absolutely. This is the very beginning of the Rockies for us when we leave the prairies, and this is where the mountains really, really start. Pretty nice look, huh? Have you ever been up one of these big mountains? You know, I've been up a few of these mountains, and the nice thing about these mountains is a lot of times there's an easy side on one side of the mountain and a harder side on the other side. So like this one right back here by the tree, on the back side of it, it's really easy to walk up. You can walk up without a rope. You don't need any equipment. I like to take the hard side. You like to take the hard side? Well, you're not alone. There's lots of people. Actually, today would be a great day. I bet there's lots of people climbing that hard, steep side there, because that's what people do for fun. Because hard way up, easy way down. Exactly. Do the hard things first, and then, the, then you get the easy way. Just like one time when I was at Nana's, I got to my have to I got to have my dessert first. Really? So I climb up the easy side, then down the hard side. I see. I see. Probably works better with dessert than it does climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, can you go to the top of the mountain now? Soon. But first, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine who's brought some animals that live here in the Rockies. Should we go meet those animals first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Right on. Hi, Andrew. How are you, my friend? I'm good. And who's this? Hi. Emily, this is my friend Andrew, and Hi. he'd like to show you some animals that nice live to meet here you in the Emily. Rockies. You want to meet this little girl? I know it's a porcupine. You do? Does she still put spray her quills sometimes? No, a lot of people do think they spray their quills, but they don't actually. They just slap you real hard like that. They don't actually fire their quills out. You know how prickly she is? Oh, yeah. But they're not so sharp. No, they're, they're sharp if you go this way, though. Porky. So we have another couple of animals with us. You want to meet another one? Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> it's soft, so isn't it? soft. Did you think you meet that soft? He likes that. It's important not to go up to wild skunks because they might spray you, right? Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll usually give you a warning first. If they see you coming, they stamp their front feet just to give you a warning. And then if you still come close, they'll, they'll turn right around and show you their bum and they'll lift their tail. Yeah, and then they stand on their front feet. Yeah, and they raise themselves up. He's heavy. He's heavy? A little heavier than you thought? Yeah. This is Emily Young meeting a wolf. A wolf? He's a wolf cross. Come on, Nitro. Hi. He goes, who are all these people in my backyard? Yeah, you can stick out your hand and say hi to him. This is Nitro. He's just looking at everybody. He's like, who is that? Wolves are very shy and skittish by nature. That's why a lot of people don't see them in the wild very often. I know that wolves, um, they they like roll on the ground. And when the boss comes, they, they roll on the ground like, I won't do anything to you. Yeah, they're very submissive. Touch it, you get it. Good boy. Hey, Em, you ready to go up to the top of the mountain now? Yeah! Bye, Andrew. Yeah, see ya. Bye, Nitro Sigma. Good boy. What do they call this thing? They call this Banff Sulphur Mountain Gondola. How long does it take to get up there? It takes about eight minutes one way to go. That's short. That's short. How high do you think we'll be when we get to the top? 1,500 feet. 1,500 feet? Would you believe 7,500 feet? I bet you it will be really windy. Yeah, you're totally right. It will be right on the tippy tippy top, and the wind can come from either side, so it will be pretty windy. You should right. have brought your gloves and hat. I know, you're absolutely right. Do you think we'll be warm enough with what we have? Excellent. Because I have gloves. <laughs> Hurry, Larry, let's go out now. Right on. Are those the Rockies, too? Definitely. Look at all the gondolas below us. Pretty cool, huh? Emily, what's your favorite thing about the mountains? That you have a great view of everything. 
right on. That's the best thing about going up in the gondola, for sure. Gondola high five. I can't believe we're on the top of a mountain. Pretty cool views, huh? I guess because we took the easy way up, we're going to have to take the hard way down. Yeah, well, it's up to you. It's your choice. You can take the hard way down and walk. Well, at least back. I got my dessert first. <laughs> Thank you so much, Larry, for exploring the Rockies with me. That was so cool. Right on. Well, you come back to Alberta anytime, Emily Young. Let's go see what we can see in, in the machine. Maybe we'll see nitro. Right on.